In this video, I'd like to introduce non-targeted screening method for PFAS by high-resolution accurate mass method on an LCQ TOF, instrument. What are PFAS? PFAS is an abbreviate name for per- and polyfluorinated alkyl substances. Simply, PFAS are organic compounds with hydrogen atoms on the carbon skeleton replaced fully or partially with fluorine atoms. PFAS represents as a big group of compounds with diverse structures, sizes and properties. It is estimated that over 4,000 PFAs have been manufactured and used since 1940s. PFAS becomes the concerns of health, because PFAS are found in human blood and urine. The use of PFAS in consumable products are banned or restricted worldwide in recent years. PFAS are found in food contact materials like paperboard, boxes and soft drink box used in the fast food restaurants. Analysis of PFAS on the surface of these food contact materials is required. LCMS is one of the methods, because of high sensitivity and selectivity. Targeted and non-targeted screening analysis have been used for analysis of known and unknown PFAS. LCMS is the method of choices for screening and quantitation of PFAS due to high sensitivity, superior selectivity and identification. There are two types of analysis methods, targeted screening and non-targeted screening. Standard methods by the US EPA and other authorities are mostly targeted screening of PFAS, which employ MRM technique on triple quadrupole LCMSMS system. Non-targeted screening is based on high-resolution accuracy mass like Q, TOF, system for detection of unknown and suspected PFAS in sample. Here, we introduce non-targeted screening method on Q, TOF, system. Non-targeted screening analysis is performed on high-resolution MS, like Q, TOF. There are two types of data acquisition techniques, that is DDA, data-dependent acquisition and DIA, data, independent acquisition. Both methods are applied to carry out non-targeted screening, each with advantages and disadvantages. In DDA mode, an intensity threshold needs to be pre-set with other parameters, these will decide if an ion is triggered for MSMS event. Therefore, each precursor corresponds to a MSMS DDA spectrum. In DIA mode, all ions within a mass window, for example, from mass 240 to 280, all ions are sent to the collision cell for fragmentation. The resulting MSMS spectra cannot be read directly without a deconvolution processing. In general, the precursor coverage of DIA is higher than DDA. However, data analysis of DIA data relies on an effective deconvolution software. Sample preparation for PFAS includes mainly methanol extraction and purification steps etc. Paperboard sample is cut into small pieces and extracted with methanol at room temperature sonicating for 30 minutes. Then, the sample is purified with solid phase extraction to remove color substances, drying and reconstitute with diluent. The final aqueous-based sample is injected to LCMS for analysis. The LCMS 9050 is a Q, TOF, high-resolution accuracy mass system. The system is suitable for non-targeted screening analysis for PFAS. Now, let's set up DIA method on the LCMS 9050. Start the Lab Solutions workstation. We, first, set up the interface parameters and all LC parameters. Then, focus on the DIA method setting up. We can include a MS event, then add MSMS DIA event. Fill in all the parameters properly, balance event number, event time and loop time. Usually, the loop time of DIA method should be 1 second or below in order to acquire enough data points for even a narrow peak. Click on OK button, we get the event details of the DIA method. DIA data analysis is performed by the Lab Solutions Insight Explore software. First, DIA data is deconvoluted to obtain precursors and MSMS spectra. A precursor pane displays all the precursors deconvoluted. Click on any precursor. The XIC and MSMS spectrum are displayed in the bottom of the screen. Further identification of the compound can be carried out by MSMS library search, formula predictor, 
database search and fragment annotation. Click on MS Library Search. The result shows that AP FAS, named as perfluoro 37 dimethyl octanoic acid is identified with high similarity index. The MSMS library used are in-house high-resolution PFAS library and MS-dial PFAS library. Another function of the software is called assign. The fragments in the MSMS spectrum can be annotated to MOL structure. The MOL structure of a suspected PFAS molecule can be searched from public compound database such as ChemSpider and PubChem. These fragment annotations may support or reject the identification result. Several PFAS are found in the samples collected. These PFAS are found and identified by the DIA non-targeted screening method. Please note that some of the PFAS are identified by MSMS library search. However, some of them are not found the library search. These unknown PFAS are identified by formula predictor followed by MOL search in ChemSpider and PubChem database. The fragment annotations by the assigned program support these identification. Excellence in science. Shimazu.